OTAN, Outreach and Technical Assistance Network. So we are here today to talk about um, OTAN curriculum offers. So um, first, before we get started, um, I do have a link here to this. So I, I actually don't have slides today. I'm actually using a Canvas course um, for all the materials that we're going to talk about. But you can, um, okay, I got it. yeah. But you can, um, if you click on this link or open up this link in a browser, then you'll get a copy of this um, Canvas course. So the link is it's a bit.ly, a bit.ly link slash and then capital tdls lowercase offers and if you're not familiar with bitly um after the slash you have to type it exactly as you see it so i noticed that because i use uh tiny euro yeah and they don't, don't yeah they're not case sensitive yeah, yeah, yeah. but bitly actually is case sensitive so it didn't they, they went away oh. okay. see if they're there okay yeah. Oh. I'll get it. I got it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So again, um, <laughs> now everyone's coming in. Um, yeah. So this Canvas course is is publicly, it's freely available, and you can come back to it after today. Um, so I put all my information in the Canvas course, but what we're going to talk about is um, first. Um, so hopefully by now you know about OTAN, <laughs> but I want to talk about OTAN, just something in particular about this session and OTAN, and then we'll do a quick entrance ticket and, um, oh, sorry, I'm in front of the camera. Um, then I, what I want to do today is I want to keep it very kind of informal, like I don't have a very formal presentation schedule, I'd rather it be sort of a conversation, um, but I want to give you a sense about what curriculum offers we have available. Um, then I want to give you some time to take a look at some of them. My my hope is that you will find one of them today that you want to be that you're interested in exploring further when you go back to your agency. Maybe try it out in your classroom. Maybe share it with your colleagues at your agency. Um, we have these freely available for the field, and so we want you to take advantage of them. Right? That's that's the goal here. Um, and then, kind of as we go along here, um, you know, as if you have questions about things or want to. You know, if you notice, um, go ahead. We'll kind of leave it for discussion in that way. So, um, and again, the Canvas course is going to be available after we leave today. So, Karen, how are we doing on the online? Hi to all the online folks. How are we doing with the online? Yeah, I yeah, just um, did the Bitly. Okay. And I, for whatever reason, cannot with it. You didn't cover Canvas. Oh, let me do that. Okay, that's the problem. Hold on one second. Um, maybe just go to Canvas first. Let's see here. <laughs> so you made you made this course public, and then you just share this. Yeah. Right. So Canvas. Right. So normally Canvas. Yeah. Normally Canvas, you know, is subscription based. But if you have a Canvas account and a subscription. Um, you can actually change your course setting to a public course. So that makes it freely available for people who don't have Canvas licenses to join your course. The only caveat to that is that um, it's nowhere near the full, you know, the full souped up version of Canvas that you get via a subscription. So it's very basic. So I can't do, I'm not going to show you any videos like studio, Canvas Studio videos or anything like that. We can't actually open up discussion um, forum for in the Canvas course. So we just keep it super, super, super simple here. So, okay. Okay. And so online folks, welcome. I know folks are just coming into the session here. Um, so um, Karen has put the link to my Canvas course in the chat. So feel free to open that up and follow along um, today. I don't have slides. I'm using my Canvas course today. So that's that's what we're up, what we're up to here. All right, so let me go to the next slide. What? Okay, so um, just a word about OTAN. So, um, well, welcome everyone. 
<laughs> we're glad that you've been with us the last couple of days. Um, OTAN is a state leadership project for adult education in California. We're actually one of three. Process, uh, CalPRO, and OTAN are the three state leadership projects um, that support adult education. We, of course, focus on application, technology integration, everything technology. We're very excited about technology. So what we're going to talk about today is I'm going to mention like a, a number of vendors and maybe some products that you've heard about in other sessions um, during the conference. So I just want to be clear that OTAN actually, we are not a vendor, right? We're not, I'm not trying to sell you anything. Um, if you get a product or don't get a product, I don't really care. So that's up to you and your agency to decide. Um, our goal, however, is sometimes we enter into partnerships with vendors for curriculum offers and pilot programs. So our goal is to kind of um, give access to the field with certain products that you might want to take advantage of it um, at your agency sort of long term. The goal of the pilot is to give you kind of an experience with the product, see how it works out in your classroom or in your program. Um, and then long term, your agency would make a decision about whether to invest in the product or not. Um, if you do so, great. If you don't, that's great too. <laughs> it's whatever your agency has decided. But I just want to be clear that OTAN itself, we're not a vendor. So I'm not here, I'm not here to sell you anything. Um, it's merely for informational purposes. Okay. Um, and again, we're happy to have you here at the conference. And okay. So what I would like to start with. Um, it's just a quick entrance ticket, a quick survey. Um, and again, you can get to all of my, I have, I'm not doing slides um, in my session. I'm using my Canvas course. So if um, Karen will put the link to the Canvas course in the chat, and if you can navigate to the entrance ticket and go ahead and take that. Um, so let's just talk about the survey, the entrance ticket here for a second. So if you can indicate your primary program at your agency, and then um, what is your role at the agency? Question two. And then the next five questions, um, just fill out any products. Let me know about any products that you're using in a particular, in your program. So it doesn't, I know a lot of us are just one, are in one program or the other. So I'm just curious to see kind of what programs are using. What are the particular products that you're using? So three questions, three through seven, just feel free to put, whatever information applies to you. Um, and then we'll take a look and see um, what the group what the group uh, results are in a second once you get a chance to finish that. So um, we have a nice mix between some ESL folks, some ASC folks. We have Corey from CDE as well. Okay, good. All right, and all teachers, except for I'm gonna guess Corey. All right, so let's take a look and see. First in ESL, um, so some folks say they're using uh, Burlington English, they're using Canvas, uh, Cambridge one, not sure about that one, um, e, uh, English in Action two, okay, so some textbooks, okay, good. All right, ABE, let's see what we got going on here. Um, with ABE, we have Aztec, Reading Plus, IXL, okay, good, pretty typical. Uh, let's see, with the ASC, okay, so we have um, Edgenuity, Ed, oh, Ed Ready Math, good, Odysseyware, Aztec Online, IXL, Quizlet, Canvas, Sites, okay, so other sites, good, all right, CTE, CTE, not sure, okay, you can sign. All right, and then the last one, what other products? Um, Edgenuity, I would like to use more already developed ESL curriculum products at no cost to, to students in campus. Okay, good, all right, good, you came to the right session. So hopefully we'll, you'll see something that kind of piques your interest. Um, okay, good, so, um, Thank you for, for taking that survey. Let's move on to the next slide. Okay, so on the OTAN website, um, we have a web page um, that is devoted to our curriculum offers information. So if you go to the OTAN website, I'll show you that 
right here. If you go to the OTAN website, OTAN.us, we have this resources tab. Here. And under the resources tab, we have a page for our curriculum offers. Okay. And so when you come to our curriculum offers page, um, we have it organized here. Um, some of these that are more for teachers and some of students. So um, I'll just say that this page um, is something that I'm hoping to kind of reorganize um, in the coming weeks. Um, but today I wanted to give you kind of a different view of our curriculum offers um, on this page here. So back in the Canvas course, what I've tried to do is kind of organize it by program area. So you can see which products are more for ESL um, students or classes, which um, offers are for more, more for ABE or ASE, which ones are more for CTE. And then we do have a few offers that might be for something completely different, right? Um, in some cases with, our, with um, digital literacy skills. And then we also have something devoted to blended learning. So if you want to learn more about blended learning and how to organize blended learning courses, um, that would be um, something you might want to take a look at. And then on the left-hand column here, all of these links are clickable to the Canvas pages where you can get more information about these different products. Okay. So, so far, any questions about kind of this chart or table, what we're looking at here? Or online questions. And sorry, I keep turning my back to the online folks. Okay, let me go back to the home page for a second. So I want to talk about kind of how these products are organized, how we have them organized so far. So right now, um, we have we have we uh, currently have two pilot programs that we're running. So one is with uh, Learning Upgrade, and the other one is with North Star Digital, Digital Literacy. So the idea with the pilot is that we give you and your agency the opportunity to participate in a pilot program where you're basically kind of um, test driving the product at your agency. So maybe with a few of your classes, maybe in one of your, um, one of your particular programs back at your agency, but it's really an opportunity for you to try out a particular product um, that we think might be of interest to um, might be interest might be of, of interest to agencies because um, it's in a particular program area or it deals with technology skill building, digital literacy skill building. Um, so these are our current pilot programs, and they and they will change periodically from year to year. So we try to keep the field up to date on what um, what pilot pro uh, products programs we're running. Um, then we have a few things that are kind of ongoing. So this would be Learn 360. This would be our work with the NROC project. And then this would also be the blended learning course from Essential Education. And you might have heard about some of these products during the conference, So, but we'll talk more about this. So these are a little bit more open-ended. So you can kind of join whenever it's convenient for you, um, beginning of the school year, middle of the school year, end of the school year, whatever the case may be. And then lastly, um, we do have a few um, curriculum products that we um, um, that we part we have partner organizations that we work with. And so we want to let the field know about um, some of these products in particular that are available to our partners as well. These are not like in a pilot program or anything. These are just kind of freely available to those in the field. Um, but we wanted to bring a little bit more attention. For example, like with CK12, we've actually been kind of actively working with CK12 to build an adult education space on their website. And then on that space would be um, freely available kind of OER, open educational resource uh, courses in the different field, in the different program areas. So ESL, CPE, AB, ASC. Okay. Um, All right. Good question. About yes. CK12. Sure. Is that just like an online textbook, or does that include like you know tests, lessons, and, that, and all of that? Right. So the question is about the CK12 um, uh, offering. So basically, it's the online courses or uh, the online textbooks that you can use in your course, okay. and um, it's really up to you what you would like to include in the course or in the in the textbook. Sorry. 
So um, with CK12, what you can do is you can create an account on the CK12 website. And then basically you can download a copy of that textbook, put it into your own account, and then you can customize it the way you want. You can keep it as is, you can add new content, you could take out content, you could add assessments if they're not there. So you, you have a lot of flexibility in there. Some stuff. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Good. Other questions? Online questions or in the room questions? Okay. So what I'd like to do, again, kind of keeping this um, kind of uh, informal today, is I want to give you a chance, maybe about 10 minutes or so, to um, take a look and see, go back to this kind of guide to the offers. And again, depending on your program area or where your interest is, take a look at some of these um, products in particular. Um, again, you can, you can visit any of the Canvas pages by clicking on any one of these links to get some more information. Let's just go to the, let's go to the essential just for um, example. So on the pages, I've just put some basic information about what the product is. Um, in this case, this is a blended learning and adult education course. Um, it's kind of a self-paced course that you can create an account, um, sign up for, and then you can work your way through the blended learning course. But basically, it's going to give you a lot of information about how to teach um, your, your blended learning courses, how to get started, how to organize the courses, uh, what's going to happen in the classroom, what's going to happen asynchronously, what's going to happen synchronously, things of that nature. Um, you can, I have a link to our web page on our website. Um, and in this case, with the blended learning um, course, um, if you're interested in this course, there is a form to complete. It's at the bottom of the page. So just go ahead and fill that out, and then you can get started with your um, with the self-paced course. And then, if there is some more basic information about the course, I've also included that on the page as well. And that's kind of the organization of these different campus pages. So, again, I want to give folks about ten minutes or so just to kind of explore. Um, I'll circulate around the room. Karen will help me if there are any online questions, if you want to ask those. Um, but I, I just want to give folks time to explore. Do you have any online questions? Yeah, or... Just that they wondering why the links don't work. And I've, I just resent the bit.ly bit link. Okay. If you want to go, they're trying to push that. The, the button. The buttons. Yeah, they're trying to hyperlink to the books that you were showing. Oh, okay, so on the guide? Yeah. Okay. okay. So if these links, oh sorry, <laughs> if these if these links on the guide are not working for some reason, just go back to the home page, and then all of the all of the products and um, vendors are down here towards the bottom of the page on the home page. Okay, so let me get let's take ten minutes or so just to kind of explore. I'll walk around. Karen will let me know if there are any online questions, and then we'll come back and um, discuss further. All right. So why don't we, um, we'll come back together um, and talk about this a little bit more. Um, if people have questions, why don't we start with, so let's start again with the two current pilots that we have, which are the Learning Upgrade um, pilot and the North Star um, Digital Literacy pilot. Um, do folks have questions about that? Do we have any folks in the room who are actually using either one of them? Do they wanna, I don't know, talk about what how they're using it at their agency? That might be helpful too if anyone's learned using learning upgrade or using North Star. Um, we had a PD uh, a few months ago, and everyone took the North Star test to see your digital skills. And um, it was interesting to see like what, what you scored. And um, we actually had some staff that are using it, uh, um, they're getting hours to do professional development, and they're just using the North Star system to. You know, review their skills and upgrade their tech skills. So it's it's really good, I think, uh, for either students or staff. You know, to upgrade those those uh, tech skills. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Thank you. Tom has his hand up. Yeah, Tom, go ahead. Hi, thanks. Yeah, it seems like learning upgrade is a. Uh, it has its own LMS, or it is the platform. That's what it is. Which is, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I could use and what I couldn't use. Um, and because I have to have my stuff in Canvas, I, I can't use a platform that takes them out of Canvas to do the work for class. Right. So I'm thinking, I, I'm wondering if which of the items 
I can't use. For example, it seems like learning upgrade would not be an option for me. Yeah. So, so okay. So, for example, let's talk about the Learn 360 for a second. So, um, we know that Learn 360 is available through Canvas as a, I'm not sure, as a LTI or um, a plugin or what, or I don't remember the, a what? An app. An app. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So a product like the Learn360, for example, would kind of seamlessly integrate with um, Canvas, for example. Um, the I think also maybe the CK12 would as well. So I know, yeah, that's that's like a big issue, right, with these products is that they don't always talk nicely with one another. Um, and so some of them are farther ahead with their Canvas integration or other LMS integration, like Google Classroom, for example. Um, so it really kind of depends, you know, sort of app to app, product to product, how it's going to work. But I would say kind of off the top of my head, um, the Learn360 and the CK12 textbooks um, would probably be good places to start. Great. And do you know about accessibility also? Uh, with Canvas or with the products? Or with the products. With the products, right. Yeah, I think that this is kind of another variable <laughs> is how accessible are these products i mean we do you know when we when we talk with the partners i mean we, we do you know for sure we let them know about our concerns about accessibility um you know and um i think a lot of folks are working on it some are better than others some are farther added with accessibility requirements than others um so you know we, we do try to figure out like which one of these are going to be you know, more which products are, are going to be better for accessibility purposes than others. <laughs> okay, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Were there other questions with either? Oh, let me just talk about the North Star again um, in particular. So with North Star, um, what we, the offer is basically, so um, with North Star, typically an agency pays a yearly subscription to become a North Star location. And when you become a North Star location, that enables you to um, offer the assessments, the proctored assessments, and then um, you can earn badges and certificates if you pass those proctored assessments. And North Star recently, within the last few years, has really worked on developing a digital literacy skills curriculum. And so you can either use that, um, their curriculum and their modules and, and such, you can use them in your computer courses, depending on, and computer classes and even your regular classes, like however you would like to integrate those, that skill building into your classes. Um, you can also offer the, um, the, um, uh, the modules asynchronously. So the students can do online um, learning as well. Um, so that's all within um, the parameters of being a North Star location. So the current pilot is for an agency if they're interested in becoming a North Star location. Basically, OTAN will cover the annual subscription fee. Um, so it's only, uh, well, I shouldn't say only, sorry. It's um, $400, $500, depending on, um, well, no, it's probably $500 per agency per year. Um, but we will, OTAN will cover that for the, for the year. Um, and then the goal with the pilot is then for the agency to decide if they would like to continue as a North Star location, then they would pick up the cost of that after the um, the end of the pilot. So that's what the current North Star pilot is right now. So we've added, um, we've been adding agencies since the, the start of 2023. Um, and so if you're interested in learning more about that, um, there's a form that I've provided on the North Star page and you can go ahead and fill that out and I'll be in touch with you and we can talk more about um, your interest in becoming a North Star location. Okay. so. Other questions about the learning upgrade pilot or the North Star pilot before we kind of move on? No. Learning upgrade is really designed to be used on the phone. Yeah, right. Learning upgrade, their, 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 um, their angle is that they really um, encourage mobile learning. So everything is, everything is learned on the phone. They have a number of different um, courses. So they have ESL courses, but they also have um, uh, reading courses, math courses, GED prep, digital literacy skill building. Um, they have a kind of a range of things as well. They also have some kind of like soft skill training, workforce training. They have financial literacy, 
a financial literacy course as well. I think they're also developing a citizenship course. So they're trying to cover sort of a wide range of adult education uh, program areas in the in learning upgrade. So, but it, but it's mobile learning. Yeah. Okay. Other questions? Learning upgrade, North Star. Or... Okay. Um, so let's talk about kind of the next set of um, offers. So the Learn360 is primarily um, using video in the classroom. So um, it's easy to integrate the Learning360 videos um, into your LMS, whether it's Canvas or um, previously Moodle with OTAN, um, Google Classroom. You also can, it's not a, it's not a, a robust LMS within Learn360, but you can kind of organize some of your classwork within Learn360. Um, but the primary goal is, is, the, is using video um, in the classroom or asynchronously for homework or with the flipped classroom, for example. Um, they also, Learn360 has also been um, um, adding supplemental materials to the videos, so like worksheets or other activities that you can use um, in conjunction with the videos. Learn360 is primarily a K-12 product. But we've also added on the classroom video on demand, which has more of the secondary school focus or secondary student focus. So that's where you're probably going to find more of the um, like the your ASE kind of videos, some CTE videos, even ESL as well. Um, it's a little bit more older age oriented than some of the material that you might find just in the regular um, Learn360 platform. But again, the goal is to try to use more video in your in your classroom and um, and educational activities. Um, we talked a little bit about the NROC project. So basically, oh, Michael, yeah. I just looked it up in Canvas. It was under apps. Yes. It says a subscription is required. So, so one of the things that we're trying to work on between us and learn the Learn360 folks and our Canvas folks is to see it because we're. We're kind of new with Canvas as well at OTAN, so we're trying to figure out a, um, a way to integrate that together. So we're kind of working on that at the moment. You should be able, though, if you have the Learn360, at least you can link to the videos. You can put links to the videos uh, uh, in your Canvas courses, and I think bring some of those materials into your Canvas course as well. And then the videos. In. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, Karen said embedding the videos and the materials in the Canvas course. Is That's kind of a workaround. Are free. Mm -hmm. So right. So right. So right. So Learn three hundred and sixty. So OTAN has purchased um, sort of a bulk set of or a bulk subscription, as it were. So um, anybody who works at the a, an adult ed agency can sign up for an account, and then once you have your account, you can go ahead and explore and get the videos you need for your courses. Set up the kind of the kind of LMS sort of kind of within Learn uh, Learn three hundred and sixty. I think the request form is at the very bottom. Yeah, thank you. So yeah, Alejandro. Yeah, yeah. The exactly. Yeah, just go down to the bottom of that page. Um, okay, then the NROC project. We talked a little bit about that. That's um, basically the um, the um, secondary level math, so ASE primarily. Although there also are. Um, um, especially with the math courses, um, we do have, uh, sorry, NROC has a number of basically math for the workplace courses, right? So if you're, um, depending on the kind of CTE programs that you're offering, you may want to take a look at some of those um, specialized math courses that might tie in with the, the math skills that you need for your um, particular um, CTE program or, or workforce program. Karen, yeah. um, the, there was a person in chat who asked, I started to do that, and the form asked for the principal, etc. I'm thinking they might need for 360. And yes, sure. yeah, the Learn 360 form, I think we just want, we just, so some, okay, so on the forms that we have, not just the, the Learn 360 form, but we often ask for the name of the administrator, because we get a lot of teachers who fill out the form, and sometimes we just need to make sure that everybody at the agency is on the same page. Um, we love we love teacher initiative. I'm not going to I'm not going to discount ever <laughs> teacher initiative, um, but we just want to make sure that everybody at the agency, you know, before you sign up your agency as a North Star location, just make sure that everybody is on board with this. Everybody is aware that you have now become a North Star location. 
Um, we don't want anybody <laughs> after the fact to be like, what are you talking about? Um, so that's why we ask for the name of the administrator on the forms, just so we know kind of who's all there. <laughs> okay. Um, the NROC, right. So the NROC, again, has the uh, the secondary level math and English um, courses in particular. Um, um, and then with EdReady, you can do that customization. Um, so with the with the NROC courses, probably the best thing to do would be to email us. Um, we we would need a, to do a little work to get you set up with an EdReady account, but we're happy to do that. So, um, And then the other was the Essential Ed. We talked about that a little bit. So that's basically kind of a PD offering, professional development offering. So for those of you who are interested in blended learning, maybe after this conference, you've heard a lot about blended learning, but you want to learn more about it kind of at a foundational level. So this is really a self-paced course um, that kind of walks through, through the steps of what is blended learning, you know, how do I get it started in my classroom? What are the things that I need? Um, what am I going to do in the classroom? What am I going to do outside of the classroom? How are these things going to integrate um, to create a blended experience, a hybrid experience? So that's really a self-paced um, offering right there. And okay, let me let me pause there. Any questions about any of those products or online questions? Karen, checking your hand. Okay, so then let me talk about um, the last set of. Um, oh, Karen, Karen, what time? Oh, uh, what time? No, what time is it? Goes to two or two ten. Two. I, I don't know. It, it goes to 2.10. Oh, 2.10. Okay, so all right, I won't, I'll, I'll, I'll pause it here. I'll, I won't rush it. Okay, so then the last set, um, the CK12, USA Learn, Skills for the Nursing Assistant, and the ISTE Skill Rights. So these are really um, um, offers that we make available through our partnership with certain um, adult ed agencies and other agencies that we work with. So the CK12, um, they are primarily a sort of K-12 oriented organization, but the goal with CK-12 is to create online textbooks um, that are customizable for your own, you know, for your own classroom, for your own program. So we actually entered into partnership with CK-12 a few years ago to create an, an adult education space on the, on the CK-12 website. And so when you go to the website, you'll see that we have some online classes, some free online classes that are available in the different program areas. So we have some ESL classes, we have um, some ABE and ASE classes, uh, sorry, not classes, textbooks, textbooks, ESL textbooks, ABE, ASE textbooks, and CTE textbooks. So really, um, you are, you're um, free to create an account on the CK12 website, and then what you can do is you can download copies of those free textbooks into your account, and then you can customize them further. However, you, you can use them as is. You can customize them for your classes. They're open educational resources, so they're, you're free to do with them whatever you would like. Um, depending on the version that you create, you actually can add that version to the community space in CK12, so other adult educators could also get those versions of the textbooks as well. Um, so that's really the goal is to try to create textbooks that are free, freely available for students. So they're not, you know, spending that extra money for textbooks and other kinds of, you know, big ticket item materials. So that's CK-12. Um, oh, one thing too, I'll just say is with CK-12. So if you really get into CK-12 and you develop your own textbooks, let us know at OTAN um, because we're working on building more textbooks for the CK-12 site. But if you are you know, creating your own textbooks, please let us know. We'll work with you to get them onto um, the CK-12 page so that they can also be available for other people too. And Tom, yes, Tom. Hi, yeah. Um, what form do those textbooks take? Are they web pages or PDFs or, you know, what, what kind of files are they? Right, yeah. They're basically um, they're they're basically web based. Um, uh, I think you can you might be able to download them into PDFs. Not positive about that, um, but they're basically web based. So uh, that way you can um, integrate them in your Canvas course, for example, or use them as a supplement. But that's that's how they're organized. 
and and I can edit the web pages. Yeah. So what you're going to do is you're going to down or you're going to get a copy of a textbook and you bring that copy into your account. And then from there, once it's in your account, you can do with it whatever you would like. You can customize it the way you like. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Actually, a customizable textbook, then you embed that in your Canvas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the CK12 site, they have some information about how you can integrate with Canvas. So I would kind of, I would just follow their directions on how to do that. And yeah, that's good. You guys do work with uh, Alex's lab. Alex, Alex uh, I think it's um, McGraw Hill. Um, no, to, uh, as a, a math lab. Okay. Um, and it's comes with all the bells and whistles and practice and textbook and so on. Okay. I'm just wondering if you knew that. Yeah, I'm not familiar with what's it called again? Alex's lab. A L E C S lab. Alex's lab. Okay, so it's with it's with McGraw Hill. Yeah. Yeah. We um we're not currently we don't we don't partner with that um on that but I mean so but thank you for asking that because I did want to say. So we really encourage you all to let us know about products that you're, you know, using at your agency or things that you might think be might be of value to the adult education field, and we're happy to take a look and see what those are. When you said customizing, it allows us to pick modules. So we we wanted specifically fraction. So mm. they're allowing they're grabbing modules that, right. that would be useful for our our boot camp. Yeah. 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 So where do we make these recommendations? <laughs> so. Uh, if you want to pop this, our support support app. So basically, you can email us, give us a call, support at otn.us, um, and we'll we can start right there from there. Yeah. The other one I've seen is UC Scout. UC Scout. Yeah, it's University of California, and they have like their own uh, A through G curriculum mm. and some AP stuff, I guess, for those that use it. But I was more interested in the secondary curriculum. Right. Program, and, They'll give it to you for free, but they will only allow you to host it on their mm -hmm. on their own campus. Okay. You know, unlike Amrock, which would let you do the show and right. put it in your own campus. Right. Exactly. So that's why one of those things where it's like, it'd be cool, we could have it on our own so we can right. control it more. Exactly. But they have maybe a little more control than somebody would like. So I just started looking into it and I thought, oh, that would be cool if we could yeah. get that there. So. Yeah. I will say that. From from our point of view, from OTAN's point of view, so we really are interested and want to encourage the use of OER, open educational resources, mm -hmm. right? And so versus commercial products, for example. So that's why we, we really like something like CK12, yeah. because that that's that's OER, that's freely available. Mm -hmm. And really the goal is to be able to use it and customize it and then maybe share it back out with the field again. Um, or you're developing your own textbooks, and then that, we find ways to share that with the field. So from our point of view, we really like going the OER route because it's going to be, um, it's really going to benefit students ultimately, right? Because they'll be able to take advantage of these free re resources and sometimes for the, you know, benefit of the teacher, but for the benefit of the students as well. So. Well, I know that UC Scout is free to public schools. Okay. And public school students. Okay. So I think they do charge for, like, you know, private private. Right. Right. Yeah. And and we all know, you know, in the K-12 adult ed family <laughs> that um, sometimes our relationship with the K-12 district is a little tenuous at best. So, you know, we can't always take advantage of some of these things. But, you know, sometimes if you work in partnership with your K-12, mm -hmm. you know, the IT folks or the instructional technology folks or whomever over there, um, there might be a way to kind of piggyback on some of the on some of the K-12 materials that are available. Right. OK. Mm -hmm. Um, the next two products, the USA Learns and the Skills for the Nursing Assistant. So, um, actually, one of our um, uh, one of our close uh, projects at the Sacramento County Office of Ed, where we are, where OTAN is. Um, this is um, they have developed the USA Learns, which is for um, which are ESL classes, and they also have a citizenship um, class as well. So, these are online classes. Um, they are now more um, kind of like LMSs as well. So you can sort of have these organized as online courses for ESL, um, different ESL levels and for citizenship. Um, and then the Skills for Nursing Assistant is also developed by them. 
um, at the county office. And so this is specifically um, for the nursing assistant uh, students um, and their teachers. So this is really um, a series of modules that kind of walk through some of the skills that you need, kind of um, a lot of soft skills that are needed um, for the nursing assistant program in particular. Um, they might be good for other kind of CTE programs as well, maybe medical assistant, dental assistant. You might consider kind of the um, those sort of soft skills that are transferable right between the between the CTE programs. Um, but this is also freely available um, and. You could use it as a supplement to the, um, the nursing assistant curriculum. Um, and then the last program is the ISTE Skill Rise. Um, so this is another digital literacy skill oriented program, but this is more digital literacy skills for the workplace. So kind of that, that, um, that area of, of um, uh, digital literacy training. So the idea is actually for teachers to kind of walk through um, the, um, the history skill rise curriculum, and then they would in turn kind of turn around and then do that tra skills training with their students um, for, work for, for workforce development, workplace training. So, and ISTE is one of our partners. Actually, ISTE, um, if you've heard about the digital literacy guidance, we also work with ISTE in developing that, and we're continuing to work with ISTE to develop, to develop some new um, training materials for the guidance as well. All right, so that's kind of, again, just sort of a rundown of the of the curriculum offers and the, the products that we have available um, when you visit that part of the website. So I don't care were there any online questions or we're good? Yeah. Okay. Um, just a question for the group. I mean, we talked, you talked about um, learning or you talked about the NROC classes. Is anybody out there using any of these products currently? Did they want to take a minute just to talk about how they're using it in their classrooms or in their programs, just for the benefit, the good of the group? Don't be shy. We don't use any of them, so I'm excited to bring them all back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we don't use anything. So yeah, let's, yeah. Really, I mean, if you you know, kind of latch on to one of them and just start with that and just see how it goes and let us know about it. Um, online folks, anybody currently using any of the products or you want to speak to any of them? I put the CK12 app and our Canvas admin into our Canvas instance, so okay. it's there for them. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to try to promote it, particularly on the, the high school diploma side. I was hoping maybe they ESL, we have a lot of stuff going right now. But Not so North Star, we used to some of the free things in an ESL class. Right. Um, I let some of the students take it, particularly those with, with lesser skills really latched on. Some of the higher flyers just buzzed right through it, but right. so I played with it all. Good. The students, um, we know that the students who earn the certificates, we know, you know, we know that they they really love those certificates. They they'll frame them, they'll put them up on their wall. Like they're really excited when they earn those certificates. And now they can also earn badges as well. So if they want to use that for, you know, if they go for a job or put on a resume or whatever, you know, they can also add that as well. So Karen, yes. Question from the chat: Do we need to get USA Learns through OTAN? No. The USA Learns, um, you can go ahead and create your own account. Um, I would probably do that first before you, if, you're, if you want to use it in your classroom, for example, um, or if you want to suggest it for your students, then you might want to create your account first and kind of just get oriented to um, which of the, for example, like which of the ESL courses you want to offer, if you want to offer the citizenship course as well. So just kind of get, um, get oriented to those courses first. And then with the USA Learns, they have a separate um, email creation and login for the students. Um, and then once the students create their accounts, you can um, add those students to a one of the ESL courses that you have in your account. So you basically just sort of add them as students to that account. And then you can kind of, then you'll have your roster and then you can kind of see how they're doing with the, um, with the different USA Learns activities, with the course activities, yes. Question, Cyber High Fresno is an amazing credit recovery program. Does OCAN know about this or knows and chooses not to include? <laughs> um, I'm not personally familiar with it, so I appreciate the recommendation. We will def we can definitely take a look at it. 
Karen, if you want, if you can share, uh, who is it? You have to open up your. Oh, uh, okay. So whoever shared the information, if you can. Suzanne Park. Oh, Suzanne. Okay. Hi, Suzanne. So yeah, um, just um, if you can email that to, um, you can email me, aburek at otn.us, Karen, if you want to put that in. Just email the reference to me, uh, Suzanne, and I can take a look at it. That's That'd be great. Is putting English to work kind of a OTAN curriculum option? So, right. So putting English to work, we actually just had a session on putting English to work um, in the morning there. So we've worked a long time with um, LAU. It's a it's originally an LAUSD product, and we've kind of partnered with them over the years um, to offer the online version of putting English to work in Moodle previously. Um, OTAN has made the transition away from Moodle at the end of last year to Canvas 100%. So we actually, you may have heard in the, if you went to that um, session, that um, there we've been working on developing the Canvas versions of the Putting English to Work 1, 2, and 3 um, as we kind of get our Canvas organized on the OTAN side. We're going to figure out a way to make that also freely available to the field as well. So we'll let you know when that comes out. But yes, that's our goal. If you were sharing a canvas. Or yeah. So right now, yeah, it's so, you know, in the move from one LMS to another LMS, right? So always kind of speed bumps along the way, right? So we're trying to figure out, right? Sorry, OTAN right now is trying to figure out the best way to share those courses with the field. So we we once we kind of crack that net, then we'll let y'all know that that's those are available, and then you'll be able to um, get copies of those PET courses into your Canvas account, and then you can start you know distance learning or however you're doing it back at your agency. Yeah, thank you for that. And then uh, Sudan said she has five years' experience using this in the classroom. I think she's referring to PETW, but. No, Suzanne was the cyber high. No, but she wrote oh. another comment. Oh, another comment. Sorry. Okay. As soon as you were talking about the PETW. Got it. Okay. Yeah. We had, a, yeah, there's, we, I mean, a lot of folks have, been, have used um, the, P, the putting English to work with their distance learning students over the years. And so we want to bring those over to campus and make sure people can take advantage of that as well. Okay. So I think we're almost at 210. Any last questions in the room or online? Um, again, if you ha have any questions about, oh, Tom, yes. Hi, I just wanted to say I'm totally interested in putting English to work. Are, are we get up, how will we get updated on when, you know, that is available Right. through so, OTAN in Canvas? Uh, right. So as soon as we, like I say, as soon as we figure out where um, on Canvas we're going to house those and, and make those available, um, we will definitely let you know. We we don't want to like, we're sort of chomping at the bit as well. <laughs> like we really, we um, I think right now, um, Paul has shared, I think one PET, uh, putting you short work one and two are basically like ready to go. And he's working on the final touches for for three as well. So um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're coming together. We just need to figure out how we're going to, where we're going to put them on Canvas so we can share them out. Yeah. And we'll let you know when that happens. Yeah, great. Okay, other questions before we break? Okay, so again, um, thank you for coming. Please take advantage of these freely available curriculum offers. Um, and um, if you have questions or want to get more information, or if you have suggestions for other products to let us know about, um, you can email me, you can email Karen. Um, and we'll take a look at those and, and figure out how to get them out to the field. So I think with that, I'll sign off here.